Thank you to Logitech and Discord for bringing us to PAX East 2016 this year. My voice is gone, but if you want to see their stuff, click the link in the video description down below. All right, guys, welcome to the Intel booth. We are checking out raw data from Servios. This is hands down the best HTC Vive demo I have tried yet, and it is far from completion, which is super cool. It is an active combat game, so that means you're standing up, you're moving around, you're trying to deflect things with swords and shoot things and go into bullet time, and gah, it's awesome. The concept is fairly basic. We've seen it before. You stand in the middle of the room, you defend yourself and the things around you, and you kill waves of enemies. That's not super complicated, but they add in some great stuff that comes with VR. Like, you get basically a lightsaber. It's a sword, but it's basically a lightsaber. And you can deflect incoming projectiles. You can physically dodge them. You can go into bullet time and dodge them. You can bullet time and shoot people in the head. You have to hold on to different weapons. You can drop them, pick them up using the controller. And you have to reload by using your movement, which is actually super cool. They do plan on adding things in the future like traversable levels and full locomotion so you can actually travel through a level as you complete it, which is fantastic. None of that like teleport around kind of stuff, which is not super great in my opinion. It's great for immersion because of the intuitive controls and the fact that you just kind of expect something like a gun to be on your hip. And to reload, pulling it down back behind you feels very natural. To shoot a shotgun, you have to hold it with one hand, pump it with the other hand. Again, feels very natural. The whole game feels very natural, which is extremely, extremely important, which is the reason why I just said it so many freaking times. You need to feel immersed when you're playing a game. Things need to make sense, and they do, which is great. Right now it only supports LAN, but they are actively working on online multiplayer and they will get it working. The game will be in early access sometime in the summer, and if you're kind of like me and are probably going to wait for the full version, that will be coming hopefully before the end of this year. So powering all this awesomeness is three different systems. First of all, we're going to check out one of the clients, which is an MSI GT72S. This is an official, like, Vive VR rated laptop, which is pretty badass. It has a Core i7 6820HK, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 memory, and an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 980. Not a 980M, this is actually a fully fledged desktop graphics card. That's part of the reason why it's rated for VR. Next up we have the server. So this is a full-fledged desktop machine. It's all water-cooled, hardline, badass stuff like that. It has an i7-6700K, 16 gigs of DDR4 memory, and a GTX 980 Ti SLI setup, which is pretty insane. It also has a 750 series, 400 gigabyte SSD. Now, you don't need this. If you want to play this game, you don't need a dedicated server at all. You can have one of the people host the game, the other person connect to you, that is completely okay. The reason why they have a server here is so that they can have a spectator view, someone who's able to look around the level independent of the two players and look at things externally, which are up on these TVs up here and look super awesome at an event, but isn't actually required to run the game. And the last system is the client for the second HTC Vive setup. This is a custom Zydax PC, hopefully I'm saying that name correctly. It has an i7-6700K, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 memory, dual NVIDIA GTX Titan Xs, and another 750 series SSD. Again, pretty badass hardware. You could probably get by with less than this, but I don't know if I'd stretch it that far. One way to check your VR capability is to run Steam's VR check utility thing. It's actually pretty great. I would recommend doing that. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thank you to Logitech for bringing us here this year. If you want to check out all of their stuff, mice, keyboard, headsets, racing wheels, whatever, their link will be in the video description down below. Also, thank you to Discord. They're awesome. They have free voice and text chat servers. You can sign up for a server. You can join someone else's, whatever you want to do. Their link is also in the video description down below. Sorry for my voice. I know it is horrible. If you want to see all the rest of our raspy voice PAX East content, stay subscribed to Linus Tech Tips.